Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Sideward, uh, one of my favorite breweries in the Orlando area. It's actually been about a year since I've been there. Um, <laughs> I don't really get to go out much, but uh, thankfully got this one picked up. Collaboration with Intracoastal out east <laughs> for me. Uh, so I haven't been in a brewery yet, but um, this is cool. This is a mac and cheesecake. So uh, part of it's the name, through macaroni and noodles into the bowl, I believe, but um, whatever. But it's a wheat wine with macadamia nut, cream cheese, vanilla, cinnamon, graham cracker. And from what I suspect, it might be, um, I should, I mean, yeah, you had head retention here, just pour it out. I assume they're using dehydrated cream cheese product, um, which sort of like removes the fat. Has, it's like a funny ingredient that I hear I've heard breweries have found. Um, apparently you can buy it off of like food ordering. So you throw it in the beer and it's a product that actually doesn't mess with the beer too much because it's like not a, you know, dairy laden fat product. Well, it's got dairy in it, but it's not a fat laden, mushy kind of cream cheese. It's, you know, the powder stuff. So I've never actually seen it out in the wild, but apparently you can make some uh, cream, cream cheese beers out of it. So let's see how this one goes. Uh, really nice looking beer. Actually looks a little bit like a uh, New England IPA. It comes in in medium to deep gold color. Uh, medium plus haze on that. It's, Good amount of head, yeah. Okay, yeah. Very sweet on the nose. Um, impression of the vanilla, right? Vanilla? Yeah. Vanilla. Um, I definitely get the spicy character of that kind of like um, cinnamon and the graham cracker note in there. Definitely a solid amount of just like, like light sweetness. So sometimes with the darker beer, you're going to have a little bit more like toasty notes with the kind of like sweetness. So it comes off like caramel ones. This is like... I don't know how to describe it. It's like, oh, you know what? It's it's like, um, what's that stuff called? It's like Entenmann's, the, the butter cake or whatever, the, the yellow cake. Uh, very vanilla laden, light, sweet smelling. Um, honestly, almost smells like, um, it almost smells like there's a diacetyl in here, maybe? Uh, it's possible, but no. But there's a rich fruitiness too that comes in, which is like, the cream cheese can't get that. It's almost like an ester profile where there's a little bit of like stone fruit, like peachy. There's almost like a peach cream vanilla thing going on in here. Oh, there's a funny nose going on, but curious. On the nose, I wouldn't be able to guess what it was. On palate, yeah, that expands. So uh, for sure, it is a lot of cinnamon and graham cracker uh, right up front. It's just very noticeable. Uh, I think it really hits, sets you up really quite nicely. This guy's, by the way, 8%. Um, yeah, it, it plays with that pale um, malt character. So, I, well, pale malt and wheat. So, I assume there's a lot of wheat in here, along with just straight, um, mostly pilsner. A pale malt. Um, mm, yeah, as you drink it more, it gets really nice and pastry ish. Um, how do you describe this guy? I mean, it's like a, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like a pastry stout, but it's pale. So instead of relying on roasty chocolate, coffee, all those other uh, fun flavors, you're relying on a really kind of almost like a blank slate, which I think is arguably harder to um, work with because with those intense roasty flavors, um, just throw anything at it, sort of works, right? And like, you know, throw anything at chocolate, sort of works. But here you have a blank slate of a, a beer. You sort of let those malts sort of sit there and it sits as this kind of like, again, it's like pound cake. It's just like a pale kind of like um, cakey texture, like, or just help, regular, yeah, regular like birthday cake. And then you're throwing um, flavors on top of it. The graham cracker and the cinnamon hits really nicely. I also get that nuttiness. The macadamia nut is quite nice. Um, so you almost get this kind of like white chocolate thing going on, right? Because white chocolate's not actually chocolate. <laughs> um, so, because it's pale. Um, so you get the white chocolate, the nuttiness, the vanilla comes in, the, the graham cracker, and then the cheesecake or cream cheese. Where is that guy? I feel like I definitely tasted cream cheesy -ness. I've had this for a couple weeks now. I feel like it tastes maybe more cream cheesy when it's fresh. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it, it honestly probably sits like a lactose-y kind of thing, right? It's just a back sweetened kind of thing. Honestly, it's a very drinkable beer at 8%, or at least for a pastry style kind of beer. Um, honestly, it's really well executed. Um, again, I think it's very hard to make a pastry kind of beer with such a pale kind of base. And they hit the parameters, it's not cloyingly sweet, hits the notes quite sharply, the nuttiness and the graham cracker and the cinnamon, and just a little bit of like a back, back sweetened and vanilla character to it. And actually, as I drink it more, there is a little bit of fruitiness in here. Um, I wanna say it's expressive yeast character. It's very subtle, but it comes off again, like like um, apricots or peaches, which is really fun. Again, think about like, um, I mean, 
I mean, I could describe a really tasty dessert to you right now, right? Like, think of like, you know, like, again, like basic yellow cake, graham cracker crusting, a little bit of like toasted macadamia nuts on there, a little bit of white chocolate, um, little slices and like, like little chunks, like, right, of a little bit of uh, stone fruit, like dried nectarine or um, sweet peaches, just like, you know, or the canned peaches just like sitting in there. That sounds like a delicious cake right there. And so I think they've uh, done a pretty good job. Um, is it cheesecakey? Pretty cheesecakey. I mean, for beer that you're drinking, it's, I imagine, hard to imitate the actual, like, tartness and uh, cream cheesiness of actual cheesecake, but um, they've done a good job. Yeah. Um, again, not something I would go nuts for repeating and also more of a flight beer for drinkability, but the impression is there, and I always give points to impression and execution, and I think they just did a fantastic job here. That was a really light sipper, like I wouldn't go nuts on this guy, I wouldn't like start pounding cans of this. Um, man, I think that little hint of fruit, I don't know how they got it in there, but like, I imagine, I imagine it's the yeast, there's just a little bit of fruitiness that's really quite expressive and quite delicious if you look for it. Ninety ninety five. Ninety five. Again, huge points on just like impression, execution. Um again, take take with a grain of salt and drinkability and repeatability of this guy, but I think it's a great impression and a good execution. So ninety five. That is Sideward's Mac and Cheesecake. Come to Orlando, check out Sideword, one of the great breweries in town. Cheers later.